good information from specialists in the field to help make you more informed and living healthy. Good evening and welcome. You are now listening to your uh, hometown health show. I'm Yolanda Santana and this is uh, sponsored by Trilogy Home Healthcare. Today we have Dr. Avron Lipschitz from Athena Plastic Surgery and Melissa Garcia, marketing from Athena Plastic Surgery and also Teresa Hilton. Thank you. So we're here to introduce Dr. Avron Lipschitz and Athena Plastic Surgery to listeners in Palm Beach and Martin Counties. Welcome. Yolanda, thanks for having us, uh, and Teresa, you guys are very generous to uh, share your time with us. Our pleasure. Um, please tell our listeners a little bit about yourself and your position in Athena Plastic Surgery. So uh, I'm a board certified plastic surgeon, and I started Athena Plastic Surgery seven years ago. Uh, we have offices in Stewart and Palm Beach Gardens, and my vision was to bring the very best plastic and reconstructive surgery to the Treasure Coast in Palm Beach. I thought that uh, my training from Johns Hopkins, UT Southwestern, at UCT in South Africa uh, as would be a welcome in the area and I uh, was right. You know, after seven years of practice, mm -hmm. uh, it's really grown. The practice has uh, kind of exploded. We have um, provide many, many services in uh, plastic and reconstructive surgery. And we have so many patients that uh, we bring on new people. So it's been a wonderful uh, place to practice plastic surgery, but also to raise my, my kids. And uh, as many people know, it's a wonderful way of life, the Treasure Coast, and uh, I uh, love uh, the area. It's great. It is a fantastic area to be in. Um, what's your specialty in reconstructive? So plastic and reconstructive surgery is a very broad uh, term, term with multiple areas that can be kind of explored. And what we do is a combination of cosmetic surgery, which would include surgery and non-surgical interventions in cosmetic, as well as reconstruction. And the reconstruction is often related to breast reconstruction, complex surgery in the hospital, and uh, skin cancer reconstruction. But to go back to the cosmetic side, the most important part of plastic surgery, of course, is that foundation of reconstruction that we talk about, that I spoke about. And on that, we build the cosmetic part of the practice. So. The cosmetic part of the practice is divided again into surgery and non-surgery and uh, the main surgeries that we do are facelifts, rhinoplasties, tummy tucks and breast cosmetic surgery and again the reconstruction is breast reconstruction and uh, cosmetic or excuse me breast reconstruction and skin cancer reconstruction. So it's pretty broad there's a lot to talk about in each of those topics but mm -hmm. They me mesh very well together and they kind of uh, are very good cross-pollinators. Okay. Especially living in the sunny state of Florida, I'm sure skin cancer you see quite a bit of. We see so much mm -hmm. skin cancer. And you know, the sun does create a lot of uh, patience. <laughs> the <laughs> sun is very powerful, mm -hmm. creating all kinds of problems for the skin. So, you know, if you go from the very simple which, you know, facial aging and very, you know, little lines, little wrinkles, little sunspots, which we all treat, by the, which I treat, by the way, with various modalities and all the way up, stepping it up to significant facial aging and then, of course, skin cancers and, you know, the, 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 the cancer um, problems that the sun can cause as well. So, yes, there's tons of uh, patients created by the sun. Mm -hmm. And Florida is very, you know, it's the sunshine state. Whenever mm -hmm. I tell this, tell, tell you a funny story. So, and this happens, I, this happens daily, at least three times a day. A patient comes to me and, and they have se severe facial, you know, problems related to the sun. Whether it's lines or wrinkles or if they have a skin cancer. 
and I'll say to the patient, you know, okay, well, we can treat it this way or that way. We'll do a laser or we'll do an IPL or we'll do like a little bit of Botox or something more complex where, you know, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. you might need a skin cancer removed or something more significant. But at the end of the procedure or, if, you know, encounter, I'll say to the patient, you know, the most important thing that you can do is stay out of the sun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put on sunscreen or and a hat. That, or a hat. <laughs> And that's when I get the oh my god look from the patient. They go, Doctor, I moved here from New York <laughs> out of the <laughs> terrible like cold and, and, and I wanted to just come to the sunshine and said just to be in the sun. <laughs> and they really need the sun. It's complicated mm -hmm. because really it is a this is one of the great things that we have in Florida and I'm actually telling patients, you know, you need to call, slow down on that. You need to slow down on that thing right there, that big yellow ball in the sky. That's uh, kind of dangerous. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, so are there any special discounts or events you're hosting during this holiday season? You know, we are, and uh, we're having an event in December, the 6th of December. Um, I'd like to invite everybody to our um, a Botox event. We're doing a, s a face and smile event, actually, combining it with a very good friend of mine, Dr. Mike Sol. Uh, we are combining uh, facial rejuvenation procedures with a uh, smile redesign event. And it's a very unique um, procedure that we're offering. Uh, Dr. Sol is a fabulous cosmetic dentist and he uh, does full reconstructive and s from the very simple to the very complex uh, dental treatments and then I uh, perform facial rejuvenation so we've had several patients who come in for example getting a requ wanting a facelift mm. they get their facial rejuvenation they look great they smile oh my goodness they need something else mm -hmm. and that's when they go to Dr. Saul and it works both ways mm -hmm. and what we do is we combine our skills and kind of consult with each other and uh, the two of us uh, kind of recreate it's kind of a swan makeover if you like of the of face and smile okay very nice when is that again the 6th of December uh, we will be having a seminar uh, at 903 Southeast Monterey Commons in Stewart and if you'd like to RSVP uh, call us at 772-266-5003, 772-266-5003. If you'd like to contact us online, go to www.athenaplasticsurgery.com, athenaplasticsurgery.com, and uh, c enter your contact submission form, give us your basic details, and we'll, we'll get right back to you. Okay. The Perfect. first 20 patients get <laughs> 20 units of Botox as a gift. Oh. Okay. What's 20 <laughs> units? That's a oh. great question. What's it like? <laughs> 20 <laughs> units is a, <laughs> it's a, it's such a sweet That's so and easy. innocent. <laughs> 20 units of Botox is basically an area of Botox. So, for example, there's three air Botox. Uh, we look at the upper part of the face. That would include the crow's feet around the eyes, the glabella, and the forehead. So any of those areas would be about 20 units. And uh, you could probably do the whole area for about 40 units if we distribute it just right. And um, it's a very, it's like that's the very, but we talk in plastic surgery, we talk about the reconstructive ladder. But in cosmetic surgery, there's the cosmetic ladder. And the bottom rung of the cosmetic ladder is, well, it's, a good quality facial and good quality skincare and the second rung of that ladder is Botox in my opinion you know and the next le level up is facial fillers now facial fillers are amazing you know facial fillers have revolutionized plastic surgery plastic surgery was only surgery for, for many th you know years until maybe the last 10 or 15 years and Botox really came to the fore in the you know, 2000s and fillers in the mid 2000, two, 2005, between 2005, 2010. So really within the last 10 years, facial fillers have be completely revolutionized facial rejuvenation. We only were able to do like a facelift or a blepharoplasty or a brow lift. There these operations were the only way to do facial cosmetic mm -hmm. surgery. Now Botox and fillers have, I would say, 
revolutionized, not only revolutionized, but it's kind of democratized facial rejuvenation. Everybody has access now to facial aesthetic treatments, which is an incredible uh, development in the last 10, 15 years. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah for sure. Definitely. I mean, I know people. I've never had it myself, <laughs> but I know... It's time, Yulene, it's time. Gorgeous. Come in. <laughs> <She's so laughs> we should all look like her. Come and, get, come and be one of our first, come and be one of our first face and smile. I'll be there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so you have an, an impressive range of experience starting off in Cape Town, South Africa, earning your medical degree from Cape Town Medical, the site of the world's first heart transplant to work, to working in various uh, surgical disciplines in Johannesburg, London, and Nottingham, England. Um, Please tell our audience what the highlight of your career has been and what led you to become interested in medicine and surgery. So after I trained in London, I came to the United States because this is the world capital of plastic surgery. And we have wonderful educators here. There's incredible research. Uh, there's amazing training. And I chose uh, at an early stage to not only train but to practice in the United States because of the wonderful patients as well. Mm -hmm. So I started out at UT Southwestern in Dallas and I was mentored by some really amazing uh, plastic surgeons and then transferred for my f the final part of my training to Johns Hopkins where you know it's a world's capital of uh, you know f reconstructive and plastic surgery and I was trained by the very best. Uh, and I want to again bring those skills to South Florida because I believe that it's it, it, th those skills should be transferred to people everywhere or, or, or whoever can get access to it. Now I've been blessed to be very welcomed in the community that I am in. Uh, the Treasure Coast and Palm Beaches have been amazing for us, and we again we've our practice has exploded. Now I will say that. When I was a kid, I was basically, you asked, you know, why did I, why did I become a doctor? And I mean, uh, not to sound uh, you know, naive or, or I just wanted to help people. And I was always interested in science, but I had a, uh, an art background and my mother's an art teacher actually. Mm -hmm and art was like the number one thing in our, in our house for example we'd go on vacation and the first thing would be where's the closest art museum uh -huh. okay, okay we would go to any place Sweet. and uh and, and we'd try and find the best artists in that in that area and so and my mother's an artist and my sister's an artist and so art was part of my life from very big from very early stage but i was the science kid and i found that the perfect blend for me of art and science the mix was in plastic surgery I found my calling and uh, it is an artistic endeavor as much as it is a scientific endeavor and it, I believe that it's where art and science really converge and I love it I love it <laughs> okay well, that's wonderful that's fantastic that's a great story we mm -hmm. are gonna take a break um, we'll be right back you're watching your hometown health show uh, and we'll be right back with dr. Avron Lipschitz thanks thanks Yolanda Let's all welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Ant2TV, the first and only internet production company that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full-service internet TV radio production company, discover Ant2TV, a full-service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development, and they use all the latest platforms to help make all your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes or live radio streaming as well as tape productions for social media platforms and television. Amp2 TV can handle all of your television needs, including closed caption for a perfect on-air telecast. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages or visit one of their many studios to get your creative juices flowing. Come and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies, including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A-M-P, the number 2.tv. 
or call them at 866-224-5422. Feel free to call for a quote or just a consult of how to put your business on a social media platform or radio platform or just doing a show that is covered by all platforms. Call 866-224-5422 and make an appointment. That's 866-224-5422. to your hometown health show welcome back uh we are on tonight with dr avril lipschitz with athena plastic surgery um we were talking about why he became a doctor and um what would you say separates you from other surgical practices in the area that's a great question yolanda and you know quite frankly there are a lot of good board certified plastic surgeons in the region but i'll just be quite honest we it's not about me or the practice it's not really we what we do is we focus on the patient and what i like to think differentiates us is that we're a patient-centered practice so that what that means to me is that each patient is completely individualized and a pre- treatment plan is constructed for each individual based on their needs based on their what they have access to and what we can provide them so it's kind of tailor-made imagine you can go to walmart and buy a suit but you can also go and get a suit tailor-made for your body Mm -hmm. right so that's how i like to think of our practice we are really tailoring a treatment plan for each patient and i like to think of it as a comprehensive treatment plan so it's not just it's not just you know one if you have a hammer the whole world is a nail we have all the you know, um, we have all the quivers in our arrow, uh, all, the, all the arrows in our quiver. So, for example, if a patient comes for facial rejuvenation, we have everything from facials to facelift and everything in between, including Botox, fillers, non-surgical treatments, surgical treatments, ultrasound, all therapy, uh, ND med, radio frequency, microneedling, and and on and on and on and on for facial rejuvenation alone. Not only that. Not to mention that, you know, obviously my expertise, but it's more more than just my expertise, it's the treatment team that I've built. So we have an expert, you know, facial aesthetician, an expert laser technician, an amazing nurse. We have an incredible uh, scrub tech. And of course, we have our own uh, operating room in the office, which so it's the full range of plastic surgery for every patient. And we can basically if you if you walk in whatever almost whatever you want you can pretty much get it and then be offered more so i i believe that we're unique in the area and i would you know encourage anybody just to come and stop by and visit okay all right well are there any um advancements or modalities that your practice offers or any advanced modalities or technology that the audience should know about i mean it's a that's a great question again Look, plastic surgery is about innovation. Plastic surgery is about art, science, and innovation. What is the latest breaking? What is the latest technology? And can the the technology advance? You know, has science has science got to a point where we can do the next treatment? And you know, as plastic surgeons, we really pride ourselves on innovation, and but also rooted in a foundational kind of you know practices. So you know, I've already spoken about injectables you know, Botox and fillers have really totally revolutionized facial rejuvenation. And if we look at, for example, all therapy, which is a device used to transmit ultrasound waves into patient skin, causing some minor skin injury deep to the skin and therefore skin tightening. This is a really new technology. Uh, It's new, but it's grounded in really excellent science. And we've had some wonderful results. It's the only non-invasive facial rejuvenation or face tightening procedure that we can do that is not surgical. It's non-invasive and it's really quite effective for lifting and tightening skin. Now, it's not so new that nobody's tried it yet. It's kind of on the cusp and it's mainstream, but it's really effective new technology. 
we have many other devices, uh, you know, Endymed with microneedling. So many people have heard of microneedling, mm -hmm. right? So microneedling is has it kind of roller. It's a roller, <laughs> right? And for it's been around for mm -hmm. you know many years, right? But what you know, a very smart company called Endymed has uh, innovated is a microneedling device. And imagine at the tip of each of those needles, a radio frequency current. In other words, it kind of heats up the tip of the, that needle and causes a little bit of damage deep underneath the skin that allows collagen and your body to pour in growth factors and amazing like healing uh, factors, cytokines, growth factors, and immu your immune system to rejuvenate deep to the skin. And again, this is a, a new technology and it adds a very powerful uh, innovation to something that's been around for some time. This can only really be done in a medical office. It's not something that you want to roll around at, in, at home. It's, it, and, but it takes a kind of a simple but effective technology to the next level. So I really love Endymed. Mm -hmm. Another really powerful technology that, that we brought into the office uh, is light devices. Now I'm just going to say that as a kind of a broad term and then we can break it down. Light devices are lasers, IPL, and then there's also various kinds of lasers. So there's lasers that treat wrinkles. That's what we call a, a YAG or 1064 laser. There's a laser that treats spots, red spots, brown spots, that I would call IPL. Mm -hmm. And then there's laser genesis, which is a very low uh, level of ra uh, radio frequency, uh, ra low level laser. And, you know, we literally have s multiple, multiple modalities on, the, on these lasers, treating each, and again, again, it's back to the individualize the patient. So what's going on with the patient? Not everybody gets treated with one kind of, of therapy. Mm -hmm everybody gets a different uh, innovative uh, technology grounded in good science but also has to have foundation and good and and has we, we need to have the evidence that this thing works it's because there's a new device on the on the market every day and the, my biggest job is really to figure out well which device is actually working which device should we bring into the office so that we can give the patients the best experience and the best that plastic surgery can offer mm -hmm. without, you know, not having effective, you know, treatments. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That's wonderful. Okay. I've heard a lot about the all therapy and the microneedling. <laughs> Come on down. I will. You know, so, <laughs> you know, combining these devices with, mm -hmm. you know, traditional, you know, surgery or non-surgical, you know, Botoxes and fillers, you know, we really can take people to the next level because we can democratize these these procedures give people uh, surgery or uh, well, surgical type results without an operation a facelift without an operation now it sounds too good to be true and in some cases it really is if you're mm -hmm. like uh, you know tripping over your own neck because it's so loose it's probably these devices are probably not going to work <laughs> but if you know you know younger and have you know some just need some skin tightening mm -hmm. all therapy and these mm -hmm. devices are incredible okay so we're running out of time and we have so much information to cover we're gonna have to do this again yes we will <laughs> for sure how can someone get an appointment mm -hmm. well the best way to get hold of us is to uh, call us at 772-266-5003 uh, ask for Melissa and you can easily get an appointment. Otherwise, go online, www.athenaplasticsurgery.com and just fill in a contact submission form and we will get back right, right back to you. And can someone, do you take walk-ins? Yes, we do take walk-ins. If, if you want to make a, an appointment though, it's probably best because you want to spend some time and plan it with me. Okay. So, again, you work with Trilogy Home Healthcare? I right? do. And Trilogy is a wonderful organization. Um, you know, the best way I work with Trilogy is if patients have really complex uh, problems that they'll come to my office and I'll fix something. Or, for example, if they have a facelift and they need post-facelift care. Post-operative. 
and they are amazing at uh, providing that service. They will, it's basically recovering at home. You get hospital style care at, in the comfort of your own living room. Okay. And I, I think Trilogy does a tremendous job at, uh, you know, providing great care at home for our patients. Thank you so very much. It's been a great evening. Uh, Dr. Avril Lipschitz, Melissa Garcia, uh, Trilogy Home Healthcare. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank Thanks, you so Fiona. much. Thanks, Thanks, Lisa. Have a Thanks, great Melissa. evening. Trilogy Home Health Care invites you to call our offices before making a decision about your home health and rehabilitative care. Different from other agencies, Trilogy offers specialized service that other agencies don't, providing exceptional care. That's who we are and what we do. Call us at 866-599-4959 or go to TrilogyHomeHealthCare.com. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.